The world has recently been reminded of Mother Nature's unpredictability. Officials of the Yellowstone National Park, one of the United States' most iconic natural wonders, have reported that hundreds of earthquakes have hit the National Reserve. Could this be a precursor to a more catastrophic eruption speculated by the general public? Or is there something very mysterious unfolding from beneath the surface? In this video, we will explore the events surrounding the series of earthquakes that have trembled Yellowstone in recent weeks and the recent danger alarm. Over the years, Yellowstone Park has been a target for environmental disasters. It is one of the most seismically active areas in the United States, experiencing approximately 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes per year. Despite its frequent earthquake experiences, it has been a center of attraction situated northwest of the state of Wyoming and spans as far as the states of Montana and Idaho. It is not just any ordinary park. It is the world's first national park, established on the 1st of March, 1872. Covering nearly 2.2 million acres, it is an immense expanse of wilderness, where nature's splendor is on full display. Yellowstone Park is primarily known for its geothermal wonders, including geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and wildlife, making it a haven for nature enthusiasts and researchers. The name Yellowstone comes from the Yellowstone River, which flows through the park. Native American tribes were already aware of the area, which they called Mitse Adazi, or Yellow Rock River. It was named for the stunning yellow and orange hues of the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone and the sulfur-rich waters of the hot springs, particularly the Grand Prismatic Spring. These colors are caused by thermophiles, heat-loving microorganisms that thrive in the extreme conditions of the park's geothermal features. The vibrant colors of the Yellowstone are a result of microbial mats in the geothermal pools, particularly the Grand Prismatic Spring, these microorganisms, such as the thermophilic bacteria and archaea, have adapted to the extreme heat and mineral-rich waters. They produce pigments that reflect dazzling hues, ranging from deep blue to vibrant orange and yellow. These microorganisms are not only visually stunning, but also crucial to the park's unique ecosystem. Yellowstone's geothermal wonders, including the world-renowned Old Faithful Geyser, are created by the Earth's geological processes, here, you can witness the Earth's inner workings right on the surface. Beneath Yellowstone lies a supervolcano, a massive and active magma chamber that fuels the geysers and hot springs. This geological activity is the source of the park's hot waters, and it provides a living laboratory for scientists studying extremophiles and the origins of life. One lesser-known fact about Yellowstone National Park is that it is often called the Land of Geysers, because it is home to a huge portion of the world's geysers. Of the roughly 1,100 geysers known to exist on Earth, over half of them can be found within the park's boundaries. Besides the famous Old Faithful Geyser, there are numerous smaller, lesser-known geysers scattered throughout the park. Some erupt with predictable regularity, like Old Faithful, while others are unexpected, making each geyser unique. The world's tallest active geyser, Steamboat Geyser, is also found in Yellowstone. Unlike the predictable eruptions of Old Faithful, Steamboat Geyser can erupt to great heights sporadically. It becomes an incredible sight for watchers when it does. Yellowstone Park is not just about colorful hot springs and geysers. It is also a sanctuary for an incredibly diverse range of wildlife. Apart from grizzly bears, gray wolves, bison, and elk, you can also spot moose, mountain goats, coyotes, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, and various bird species like bald eagles, ospreys, sandhill cranes, and various waterfowl. The park's wilderness offers a haven for these creatures, and it is one of the best places to observe them in their natural habitat. It also has a high-altitude lake which is one of the largest high-elevation lakes in North America, visitor centers, museums, and educational ranger-led programs. Yellowstone Park's rich history of conservation and preservation dates back to its inception. It was established to protect its unique features and wildlife for future generations. The park's success in conserving its ecosystem has set a standard for other protected areas worldwide. In fact, its creation led to the development of legal frameworks and legislation in the United States, such as the National Park Service Organic Act of 1916. This act established the National Park Service, 
which manages not only Yellowstone, but a network of national parks across the country. As a result, Yellowstone is often seen as a symbol of the importance of preserving natural landscapes and wildlife. Why exactly did the earthquakes hit Yellowstone? And what are the notable seismic occurrences leading to the recent series of earthquakes? Between 1973 and the end of 2017, Yellowstone recorded over 48,000 earthquakes, raising questions about why this seismic activity is so prevalent. One of the primary factors contributing to the frequent earthquakes is the movement of magma within the supervolcano. As molten rock rises, it intrudes into cooler, brittle rocks in the Earth's crust. This process creates tremendous pressure and stress on the surrounding rocks, leading to fractures and fault lines. The resulting movement along these faults produces earthquakes, which are mostly of low magnitude. Yellowstone's hydrothermal features, like geysers and hot springs, are also connected to this geologic story. The flow of water through the Earth's crust in these areas can generate additional seismic activity. The interaction between hot water and rocks creates pressure, which, when released, results in small to moderate earthquakes. Yellowstone often experiences earthquake swarms, where numerous small earthquakes occur in a relatively short time frame. These swarms are often linked to the movement of hydrothermal fluids, magma, or tectonic stresses. Their relatively shallow depths contribute to the quakes being widely distributed across the region. They account for about 50% of the total seismicity in Yellowstone and are most common in the east-west band of the region, between the Norris Geyser Basin and Hebgen Lake. Most swarms are small and short, consisting of 10 to 20 earthquakes and lasting for one to two days. Occasionally, large swarms that can contain thousands of earthquakes and last for months do occur. Among the notable seismic events in Yellowstone is the Hebgen Lake earthquake of 1959. It is regarded as the most momentous earthquake in historical times for the Intermountain West. It struck just west of the Yellowstone National Park boundary, near West Yellowstone, Montana, with a high magnitude of 7.3. It occurred on the fateful night of August 17, 1959, at 12.37 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Earthquake swarms have also been observed on several occasions. One of the largest swarms occurred in 1985 when more than 3,000 earthquakes were recorded within three months on the northwest side of the park. More swarms were documented in 2009 near Lake Village and in 2010 between the Old Faithful area and West Yellowstone. On March 30, 2014, at 6.34 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, an earthquake with a magnitude of 4.8 struck Yellowstone. The epicenter was approximately three miles north-northeast of Norris Geyser Basin. This event marked the most powerful earthquake in Yellowstone in more than three decades. The Yellowstone Seismic Network accurately recorded the earthquake. The network is overseen by the University of Utah Seismograph Stations, which is a founding member of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. The network's station, located approximately four miles south of the epicenter near Norris Geyser Basin, was one of the closest stations to capture the seismic activity. Another significant swarm was the Maple Creek Swarm, which began on June 12, 2017, and persisted until October of the same year. This cluster of seismic events comprised more than 2,475 recorded earthquakes. It was centered in an area approximately six miles north of West Yellowstone, Montana, extending to the west side of the park. Scientists attribute the swarms to the dynamic nature of Yellowstone's geology. Shifting and changing pressures in the Earth's crust, influenced by the migration of hydrothermal fluids, are believed to be the primary drivers behind these swarms. This phenomenon is a natural consequence of the volcanic activity that characterizes Yellowstone. On June 16, 2017, at 6.48 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, the largest earthquake of that year struck. With a magnitude of 4.36, this earthquake was situated roughly nine miles north-northwest of West Yellowstone, Montana. The tremors from this event were reported to have been felt in nearby towns, including Gardner and West Yellowstone. This earthquake represented the most significant seismic event since the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that occurred on March 30, 2014. It was part of a broader and energetic swarm of seismic activity that was concentrated in the same geographical area, 
In 2018, Yellowstone experienced a relatively typical year in terms of seismic activity. The University of Utah Seismograph Stations, entrusted with the operation and analysis of the Yellowstone Seismic Network, detected a total of 2,007 earthquakes within the park during that year. This figure aligned closely with the annual average of seismic events in the region. The most significant seismic events of the year were a pair of 3.1 magnitude earthquakes. Unlike in 2018, there was less geyser activity in 2019. In 2020, seismicity in Yellowstone was distinctly normal, but there were two noteworthy earthquakes in the region. These were a magnitude 5.7 event west of Salt Lake City on March 18 and a magnitude 6.51 in central Idaho on March 31. In 2021, Yellowstone was back to recording earthquakes that almost surpassed the average range. 2,773 earthquakes hit the area. The largest event of the year was an earthquake with a 3.6 magnitude that occurred beneath Yellowstone Lake on July 16. It was among the 825 quakes that occurred beneath Yellowstone Lake. In 2022, 2,429 earthquakes were recorded in the Yellowstone region, the largest of which was a magnitude 4.2 that happened on May 11. These major seismic events and many mild ones led up to the series of earthquakes recorded lately that got the world talking. The seismographs operated by the University of Utah detected a series of earthquakes beneath the northern portion of Yellowstone Lake. The earthquake sequence was concentrated to the south-southeast of Lake Wyoming, starting with a modest magnitude 0.7 quake occurring just after 11 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At least 60 earthquakes were identified within 12 hours, exhibiting a range of magnitudes from 0.1 to 3.7. Two of the earthquakes in this sequence surpassed a magnitude of 3.0. The first, with a magnitude of 3.1, occurred at 7.05 a.m., and shortly after, an earthquake with a magnitude of 3.7 struck at 8.24 a.m. Most of the earthquakes in Yellowstone are of low magnitude, and cannot be felt by humans, but are detected by the geologists' sophisticated seismological monitoring equipment. But when did seismic monitoring officially begin in the Yellowstone region? And what efforts have been made to observe the region since the first major earthquake? Scientists have had an interest in monitoring Yellowstone's seismic activity since the first few earthquakes in the region, but the monitoring exercise finally kicked off in the early 1970s as a result of the devastating 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake. During the early 1970s, the United States Geological Survey installed and operated a seismic network, making efforts to track seismic activity in the region. Unfortunately, Budgetary issues led to the discontinuation of the network in the early 1980s. In 1984, the University of Utah Seismograph Stations re-established and expanded the seismic network. In November 2017, Yellowstone National Park collaborated with the University of Utah and the University of Texas El Paso to conduct a study that prompted the installation of 290 nodal seismometers in and around the Upper Geyser Basin. This initiative was a continuation of research that had commenced in 2015. The temporary deployment spanned several days and aimed to record seismic signals emanating from the various thermal features. In 2017, the study centered on Geyser Hill, with the primary objectives of determining the underground sources of thermal features and determining whether they shared a common reservoir or had distinct origins. This work followed a similar project in 2015 which concentrated on examining the plumbing system in the Old Faithful area. Over the years, the Yellowstone Seismic Network has evolved, with modern digital seismic recording equipment, positioning it among the world's most advanced volcano monitoring networks. Remote sensing techniques, such as satellite imagery and aerial surveys, have been employed to monitor changes in the landscape, thermal activity, and ground deformation. Yellowstone's scientific observations benefit from collaboration with various research institutions and universities, both within the United States and internationally. These methods provide valuable data for assessing potential hazards. The park's seismic and geological data are made accessible to the public and the scientific community to foster transparency and scientific inquiry.
These collective efforts have contributed to a comprehensive understanding of the geological and geothermal processes within Yellowstone, enhancing safety measures for visitors, the park's animals, and the scientific community's knowledge of the unique and dynamic environment. Presently, the University of Utah Seismograph Station manages an extensive network of 46 seismometers in the Yellowstone region. These instruments continuously collect vital seismic data. However, transmitting this data from Yellowstone to the University of Utah presents some challenges. Yellowstone's high plateau terrain is prone to heavy snowfall and frigid temperatures for a significant portion of the year. Many of the data transmission sites are perched on towering peaks, further complicating maintenance efforts during the harsh winter months. It is also not uncommon for seismometers to experience brief outages due to snow and ice accumulation on solar panels and antennas. In some instances, the seismometers remain inaccessible until the arrival of spring, underscoring the resilience and dedication required to monitor seismic activity in this challenging environment. What are the dangerous effects the earthquakes have had on the park? And why are people terrified of another earthquake hitting Yellowstone? The earthquakes in the Yellowstone region have had dangerous or disruptive effects on the park, some of which include geothermal changes, infrastructure damage, landslides, rockfalls, hydrothermal scalding, ground deformation, and visitor safety concerns. The Hebgen Lake earthquake in particular claimed 28 lives and left a profound impact on the park's hydrothermal systems, notably affecting the iconic Old Faithful Geyser. The earthquake's effects extended beyond the tremors, triggering a massive landslide in Madison Canyon. This colossal event resulted in an estimated 50 million cubic yards of rock plummeting to the canyon floor, forming a natural dam across the Madison River and creating Earthquake Lake. The seismic disturbance also set off numerous smaller rockfalls within Yellowstone, causing road blockages. West Yellowstone experienced structural damage in the aftermath. Seismic activity has impacted Yellowstone's geothermal features, altering the behavior of geysers, hot springs, and mud pots. While these changes were mostly temporary, they disrupted the regularity of geothermal eruptions and modified the hydrothermal landscape. The infrastructural damage to roads, bridges, visitor centers, and historic buildings required extensive and costly repairs. Shifts in the ground during the earthquakes altered hydrothermal features, leading to scalding incidents when visitors are near the park's geysers or hot springs during such events. The earthquakes also triggered secondary hazards, such as flash floods, especially in areas near rivers and lakes. These floods were dangerous to both visitors and wildlife. Considering the hundreds of earthquakes that have hit Yellowstone, people fear a major earthquake hitting the park in the future because of Yellowstone's supervolcano. The combination of volcanic activity and earthquakes has raised concerns about the potential for a volcanic eruption. While the chances of a catastrophic eruption have been considered extremely low by Yellowstone National Park officials and renowned geologists worldwide, the association between earthquakes and volcanoes can be alarming to residents of the region and the global public. The unpredictability of earthquakes adds to people's fear. Although scientists closely monitor the region, there is always a level of uncertainty regarding when and how the next major Yellowstone earthquake might occur. Media coverage of any seismic activity in Yellowstone has also amplified concerns and generated sensationalized narratives about potential catastrophes. Regardless of its past and recent records of earthquakes, Yellowstone National Park is a place where geothermal forces create vibrant colors. It is a habitat where various wildlife thrives and where the principles of conservation and preservation are upheld. It has faced challenges, including threats from invasive species, wildfires and habitat changes, but its ability to adapt and find solutions to these challenges demonstrates its resilience. As you visit or explore Yellowstone National Park from afar, remember that it is more than just a park. It is a testament to the beauty, intrigue and enigma of the natural world. It is a reminder of our role in protecting it for future generations. Don't forget to like and share this video with friends and family. We would love to know your thoughts, so leave a comment. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to ensure you are alerted about all our future videos.